Okay, so this is the new bearing of B C R two thousand that I just bought. Uh, from Torman and they were very good in Germany and they got it sent to me here in Amsterdam um, and I just want to show you get down to business how it works or how it's working should I rather say um, I'm using uh, uh, Studio One and I've got the Piano Tech open here and I've also on the right hand side got the uh, the VRC uh, control panel that I made up myself um, and I've, at I've assigned one knob just to see if it's working now I've got it connected up via the MIDI ports at the back here you can see um, the USB is not connected at the moment because I'm having trouble with the USB and it might have to go back but that's my particular problem with this again Toolman have been very good and they're going to be checking it out and if it has to go back, it has to go back. And I'll make no bones about it. So anyway, I'm using this knob to change this parameter. Whoops, that one, the, the unison width. Now what I want to show you is not only that it works, like um, I'm going to twiddle my knob here, and you can see that the lights are going left and right. And I can see here the values going up and down. I keep twisting that, and then you can see here that uh, in the middle there it's coming in showing me and you can see also the name uh, unison width underneath the control 22 there um, because I've already assigned it to my piano tech and you can see it's whizzing along there so that works real fine now there's two things one is feedback which you're not always going to need uh, really to use your mouse here but if you do now I'll I'll let go of the let go of the knob, and I'll transfer it to my mouse, and I shall whoops, zoom in again on here, and I shall start moving the unison width up and down, and you'll see here. Then the mapping is moving up and down, and hey presto, the button is the lights are moving around as well. So there's two-way communication, which is very nice. Um, which means that if you move anything indeed with your mouse, that it will be reflected on your whole BCR2000, which is very nice. But further, what uh, I have discovered just now is that um, it picks it up when you go to the specific VST plugin you're working on. So I happen to have, um, I didn't realise, but I've got two versions of Pianotech uh, loaded here. Um, so it actually uh, tweaks the same thing. I don't have to reassign it, which is very nice. Um, but if you look here, this is version 2. You can see up here it says Pianotech 2. And you've got Pianotech 1 up here. So what I'm going to do is have the unison width on Pianotech 2 all the way to the right, which is reflected by me knob over here all the way to the right and if I go to Piano Tech 1 where's my mouse, there we are then I'm going to pull that all the way to the left same unison width and you will see that uh, the light is all the way to the, to the left nearly all the way to the left it's not exactly all the way to the left and if I pull this over all the way down you'll see that this has corresponded it's all the way down. I'll just twiddle my Behringer. You can see it's moving right and left. And that was me doing this sort of thing. You see that racing around there. Now I'm going to leave this to, um, well, let's say the middle section, middle, approximately. I am now going to go to Piano Tech 2, where we can see the same. Uh, control is all the way to the right and hey presto if you look over here it's gone all the way to the right so if I um, off camera I'll just click back to piano tech 1 you will see there you go that the, the uh, bearing follows whatever um, VST instrument or uh, whatever you're controlling 
when you open the window. I, I'll click back to Piano Tech 2, and you see it goes to Piano Tech 2, and click to Piano Tech 1, and it goes to 1, which means I can pick up um, without jumping um, with the editing of Piano Tech 1, for example. So there you go, no jumping, so it's nice and smooth. And if I click back to Piano Tech 2, you can see it's all the way to the right um, again here, and I can just carry on editing with no jumps. Very smooth. That, of course, is the ultimate um, weirdo test because I would normally not have two piano techs open. Uh, can't tell you why I did. Probably was messing around trying one thing and then trying another. But um, that is how it works. Uh, or that is it working, let's say like that. Uh, how it works, how, how you do all of that. Um, maybe other people can explain that to you. It's pretty damn easy. Um, maybe I'll do another video on that, but I wanted to show that because uh, it's first time I'm checking this out and I think that's really rather cool. <coughs> so that's um, Studio One um, from PreSonus, which is very cool. And that's the Behringer, um, or Behringer, I don't know whether you say it with a G or without. Um, the BCR2000 controller. Um, yeah.